Hello, this is a video one for chapter two, graphing and writing inequalities. Specifically, this is identifying solutions of inequalities. Um, definitions and notes. So an inequality is a statement that two quantities are not equal. The different symbols that you'll see are less than, so A is less than B, greater than, a is greater than B, so bigger, uh, less than or equal to, meaning they can either be the same number or A would be smaller than B, greater than or equal to, so again, they can either be equal or A would be bigger than B, and is not equal to or does not equal, so A and B are not the same at all, um, and that's not really an inequality, but that is explaining, you know, non-equality. Next, uh, inequality solution or solutions, any value of the variable that makes the inequality true. So if you have A is less than B, and you were to solve it out, and you can have something like A is less than 9. So you would want every number smaller than 9. You know, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, all the way down into your negatives. So the example says, describe the solutions of... 3 plus x is less than 9 in words. So the first thing that we want to do is just um, start to kind of use a chart. It kind of just helps. So we're going to plug in some x's. We're going to find out what x plus, or 3 plus x is, sorry. And then we're going to check the inequality itself. So is the number that we found in row 2 less than 9? and this is either going to be a yes or a no part, so let's plug in things like negative 2, 0, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, I'm using easy numbers just to make my life easier, if you will. You can use decimals, you can use fractions, but I'm just going to use whole numbers. So if we plug in negative 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, if you plug in 0, 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 plus 7 is 10, and 3 plus, let's actually make this a 10 just to get a little bit of a large number, 3 plus 10 is 13, okay? So 1 less than 9, 3 less than 9, 8 less than 9, 9 less than 9, 10 less than 9, and 13 less than 9. So that would be all of the verifications for the inequalities themselves. Now, from here, you just need to look at it and see whether or not the inequality still remains true. If it's still true, so I'm actually going to change this to true-false. Um, if it is true, then that would be considered part of your solution set, and if it's false, then that wouldn't be part of your solution set. So 1 is less than 9. That is true. So is 3, and so is 8. 9 is not less than 9. 9 is equal to 9. So this is actually false. 10 is bigger than 9, and so is 13. So the first three are part of our solution set, and the last three are not. Again, please understand that decimals and fractions can easily be part of this. If you were to plug in negative 2.5, that's smaller than negative 2, so that would still be considered less than 9 when you add 3 to it. So just please understand that these are inequalities, so technically it's infinite, but it may be bounded. So it says describe the solutions of 2p is greater than 8 in words, and then test out, um, oh, and specifically test out at least 5 numbers. Um, you'll notice that I did 6 here, right? So I'm going to have you do at least 5. Um, but again, you can have six, seven, however many you want. Uh, the goal is to just understand exactly what your solutions should look like. Um, so if you wanted to explain it out in words, 3 plus x is less than, can't spell that, uh -huh. less than, there we go, 9, right? And whatever x is is very specific. So if we were to think about this, or you know, later on we're going to discuss solving it. So x can only be certain numbers. Um, you'll notice that we have six was considered false. 
So x is less than 6 because 5 was true, 0 was true, and negative 2 were two and they, true, and they were all smaller than 6. But at 6, it stopped. So stop, you know, where it stops kind of tells you where your solution is at. All right, so this video is a little bit longer than normal. Um, it's just because I'm trying to make you understand inequalities. So again, on the U-try, um, make sure that you, you know, make your little chart, work it all out, and then discuss, one, how you would write out in words the 2p is greater than 8, um, and then also how you would kind of write the solution based off the numbers that you tested. Okay, so that's the end of this video, um, and there are three more after this one.